Hello, it's Ed Krasenstein here with OwnLiveFans.com. Today I'm going to review the OwnLive desktop app for the Apple iPad. Alright, here we're, we're logged into the OwnLive desktop app. You can download the app from the iTunes App Store. Um, as you can tell, it looks just like a regular Windows 7 desktop. However, it's running entirely on the cloud. The OwnLive desktop app is entirely free and you will get 2 gigabytes of um, two gigabytes of storage all in the cloud. You'll also get access to Microsoft Office which includes Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint as, as well as a Windows 7 Touch Pack which in, will include Microsoft Blackboard, Microsoft Garden Pond and Microsoft Rebound which are all Windows games and Microsoft Surface Collage which lets you manipulate photos and make your own photo collage. Um, there's a $9.99 $9 um, per month pro desktop app that pro desktop subscription you can sign up to that will give you access to more features more programs you'll be able to upload your own programs they're going to have that restricted somewhat and you'll also um, you'll get priority access to the service alright now this is all touch based there's it's just like Windows, you hit the start menu, it opens up the, up the regular start menu. Um, go into programs, I'll show you some of the other programs that are in here. There's accessories. Well, this is Windows Media Player, I clicked the wrong link. This is a Windows Media Player. It comes preloaded with some um, songs and some videos. I'll show a video that came with. Um, this will be wild wildlife in HD. Now, it's this is running on extremely fast servers. There's and there's no lag and there's no time for the for the video to actually load itself. All right, that's that's one of the videos in. Windows Media Player. Now, I'll try. One of the problems that I've had on this app is that things are like these menus here are so small. Like my fingertip isn't tiny enough to precisely collect select the folder I actually want to click on. So that that can be a bit of a problem. I'm going to try clicking on accessories again. All right. Now you click on accessories. You see there's calculator, math input panel, notepad, paint, sticky notes. And WordPad. There's also some other stuff under ease of access, including Magnify, and maybe that's what I need in order to see this, some of this stuff. Narrator, which is going to narrate some of the programs you access and read documents for you. And the on screen keyboard. The on screen keyboard, I'll show you the on screen keyboard and I'll open up Microsoft Word. Now, this is Word just like you'd have on your regular Windows desktop, it's running in the cloud. You have the option of either using a keyboard like this and type hello from on live oh, backspace from on live fans. In addition to this, you also have the the um, writing, the handwriting analysis, which will let you actually write on this pad if you have a pen, like one of the touchpad pens, or you can actually use your finger. I'll say hello. Hello. From Florida. I'm in Florida, by the way, for those that don't know. And it it, it made a mistake. I said flounder, but anyhow, it work it works pretty nicely. The touch keyboard. You can't use the built-in iPad keyboard, which. A lot of people have a little problem with they prefer to use that. It's a nicer keyboard, easier to use, bigger buttons. Um, 
that could be something that's released in the future. Now when you save these files, they're going to be saved to the cloud as well and you can access them on right now right now this app's only available on the iPad but it's going to be coming to Android it's going to be coming to your micro console on your TV Google TV set top boxes it's going to be coming to Android tablets um, it's, you're going to be able to run it on pretty much anything that has a monitor uh, even your probably even your smartphones but that's going to be extremely difficult to do because I think there's I think it's difficult to click these menus on a iPad because things are too small and your phone is just going to be smaller. But um, everything's going to be saved in the cloud. You can upload, download, you can download it to your desktop at home if you'd prefer to use your local desktop. And that's all done at files.onlive.com. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the Windows 7 Touch Pack. This is just a few applications that come preloaded. Um, there's three games Microsoft Blackboard, Garden Pond, and Rebound. As, long as, as well as a Microsoft Surface collage, which I'll show you right now. This demonstrates how you can use your touch and zoom and everything that you normally use on a tablet. Alright, Microsoft Surface collage. Now, here you see we got images on the screen. I can bring in the koala bear if I want. I can zoom. I can rotate. You can, I can pretty much do anything I could on an iPad normally with the touch features. Might want to make them make a koala big and have these just around him. It it this this application works extremely well. Um, I'm also going to show you now. You might wonder how you right click because sometimes you need to right click in documents and stuff. To do that, you simply put your finger down and hold it. No, I'm sorry. Put your finger down and tap with the other hand. That's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, there you go. Put your finger on something and tap with the other hand and that opens the right click menu. As you see here, um, there's copy, cut, everything else that you'd normally see in your right click menu. Well there you have it, the OnLive desktop app for the iPad. Um, now a lot of you are probably wondering, oh can I install games, can I install S Steam on there? With the Pro version you're going to be able to install some things. Whether you can install more games, if you can install Steam, which I highly doubt, is still up in the air. Um, Right now, the free version of the app is pretty locked down. You can't even access my computer. You can't access anything other than what OnLive gives you. Again, with the pro version, you should probably be able to upload some, some things other than documents. They say they're going to allow you to upload applications, or install applications, not upload. Whether My guess is that OnLive is going to make certain applications available that you can install on the pro version rather than allowing you to actually purchase an application and install it yourself. Um, this is all still up in the air and when we hear more we'll, we'll be sure to let everyone know. Well that's our review of the OnLive desktop app for the iPad. Um, be sure to check out OnLiveFans.com for all the latest OnLive news, talks, reviews, anything else you want to learn about OnLive. Um, this re you can re read the written review of this app that we have posted up on our website at onlivefans.com forward slash reviews. Thanks again. I'm Ed Krasenstein from onlivefans.com.